Now in this little exercise, I'm going to be using Affinity Photo to create icons. Now you can use Photo or Designer, possibly even Publisher, to create icons. Now this may not look like an icon, but it is quite large. But I can assure you it's easy to do. Well, we're going to put these icons into our into our iMovie trailer and you can make it you can make an iMovie of for YouTube or just to show your friends the videos or the um, the photography work that you do put it all together in iMovie. iMovie is really easy to use it's free on the Apple as you know etc etc but you can animate all sorts of little interesting things in it. Now let's have a look and see if I can find one that we can do. Now what I've got here, subscribe, I've got a YouTube button, um, I've got a comic book wham, and there's something else there, and a bang, and you can see in the assets, assets folder, I've created those there. Now to get them into a usable format, we've created our icons, put them in an asset folder, well that's where I like to keep them, you can keep them anywhere you like. And I can also keep them in photos. So if I bring up photos, just takes a moment to come up. There we go. I'll just drag that down. You don't want to see all the family and friends. And there's a whole raft of images there. Now I'll push them off onto the other monitor for the time being sufficient to say that to get them over there of course when you've got it ready you just go to file and share and add photos and that'll add to photos if you want to put that into an assets folder you go across to assets now I've already got it in there somewhere there it is bang you go to the assets folder and add from selection now that's the selection. Add from selection. And there it is. Now it's a background. This is this is kind of important a bit later on. But I don't want it. So I'll select it there. And just highlight it with the right, a right click and delete that asset. There's no point in having two of them in there. Now how do I create those? I created a preset earlier on for a 512 by 512 and there it is well affinity affinity now I've reset this computer since I did this but affinity remembers your last settings so beware of that one and the page preset is icon it's a preset pixels RGB it's 512 by 512 and 300 dpi might as well use 300 dpi it's easy. And there it is. A new icon. Now, let's use the word crack. That's a good one. Just drag that in there. And drop it there. Resize it. Put it in the center. In fact, Drag it down. What's happened to the centre bar? There it is. And Bob's your uncle. Now there's a nice little icon. You're probably wondering about the size. But 512 and 512 is nice for what we want to do. Now, I've already got crack over there, so I don't need to do it. His crack is already in the photo gallery, as you can see. As you can see here. There it is in the photo gallery. And there's a few others there, so there's no point in me doing them again because that's fairly obvious what you have to do. Now, what do we do with them now that they're there? We've got them in our photo gallery and we've created them. They're nice little assets. We've got YouTube assets, comic assets and icon assets. And there's some of the, some of the icons there. Now, the next thing we have to do is bring up Keynote. 
Now, obviously, I'm on a Mac with this, and Keynote is the app of choice for doing this. In fact, it really is the only way you can do it. Open Recent, Icon Drop Keynote. And you can see that I've already created one. Now, there's one icon, there's another icon, there's another icon, and there's another icon. Now, how did I do this? Let's create an extra page. There's a blank page. The first thing we need to do with the blank page is select its format. Now, it has to be no fill. Now, it turns to black, but it's actually transparent. So, I mean, there's probably no way of showing and <laughs> no fill other than to make it black. That's fine. Now, I'll just put that there. I'll, uh, I'll leave that affinity. I'll just hide affinity for the time being. That's down there. Because what I want to do is bring Apple Photos over here because I want to use a couple of these in here. So what do we want to happen first? Well, let's see. Let's put wow up there. We'll just put that in there. Takes a moment. It's inserting it. Now that's too big for what we want. So we'll reduce it in size. This is going to happen on your movie. Now there's wow. No shadow. It's an image. The range. Nothing changes. But what we want to do is animate it. Now by animating it, we add an effect and let's mm, what sort of an effect fade and move that's over that's okay that one will slide in left to right it's order number one okay so that's ready to go now we want to put in another one and we'll drag subscribe in we'll put that Somewhere about there. No, no, that's the wrong one. I've really got to get rid of that. So delete that. I want the second one. You notice the first one did not have a transparent background. This one does. And that's, that's really quite important. Oh, why is that? Edit, undo, resize. Trying to move it. Format. There we go. It didn't want to. F it didn't want to do it. While I had the thing selected. Okay. Now that's about mid-screen. What I want to do is pull it down there, just past the halfway mark. Still center screen. Now you don't want it right down the bottom because it'll disappear over the edge of the movie. You want it where it's going to be reasonably visible because you've got to remember the background of your movie where you're going to put this. Subscribe. The image, the style, the animate. We want to add an effect. This is definitely a drop. And you'll notice how it drops. I want the drop to take a bit longer. Let's give it 2.5. Preview it. There we go. That's a good long drop. We want the next one. Where have I got the next one? Could have sworn I had another one there. Oh, I know what it was. It was text. So let's put a bit of text in. There's the text there. And we'll put this down the bottom. Four. 
format. No good having pointless having the text black, is it? Absolutely pointless. But remember it's going to be on a you don't know the colour of the screen type screen. Let's make it green. Text can't spell. Absolutely can't spell. Okay, that one there we've got to animate. You can animate text just as well as you can images. We want to make that one a drop as well and it drops down there. We definitely want to make that a two second drop. Give it a preview. There we go. And the last one, because we're going to tap a bell, subscribe and tap the bell. There it is there. Bring it down. Move it in. It can be as small or as large as you like. Now you can see we've got two pages there. We've got that one pretty much the same and that one there slightly different. Now you can't send both of these to, to make a movie out of both of these. I just wanted to show you how you set it up. There's no fill on the background. You've animated your buttons. They've all got a sequence of where you want them to appear. So that one first, subscribe next, you know you want to, third, and ding, fourth. But ding has no effect. Iris, ding, mm, I don't know. Change, blinds. Oh, kind of different. Okay, but that'll do because I'm about to delete it anyway. Because what we've got here is that movie there. And that's already done. So let's get rid of that. That's as simple as that. I should already have that exported. File. Export to. Now this is kind this is not only kind of important, this is really important in Keynote for this sequence. So you go to export, you go to movie, and you select the resolution custom. This is very important. Then you select Apple ProRes with all the fours. If you don't do that, it almost certainly won't work properly. And then you export your presentation. Next. And it comes up and it's going to YouTube, where I've already, well, it's a YouTube folder, where I've already got it. So let's go to Export, and I'll replace the one that's there. And there we go. So we can now hide that. We can hide photos. Because the next thing we want to bring up is iMovie. But I'll bring up OBS Movies. That's, um, that's not the one I want. What I'm looking for is That's the one we just made, okay? Let's bring up iMovies and see what's left in it. Shouldn't take but a moment to load. And there's our master. Now that we don't want. That's a, an old one from before that doesn't work anymore. Delete media from event. Oh, it's currently in use. Of course it is. Idiot. Delete. 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 
Okay, now I can get rid of those. Delete media from event. Yes, delete. Delete media from event. Yes, delete. What's that? Oh, that's me bouncy moving. Delete media from event. Yes, delete media from event. Now, what we've got is all of the parts of a previous movie that I made. Now there's, you may recognize that if you've done any of um, any of my previous tutorials, 7 minutes, 7.8 minutes, 6.8, 6.4, let's use that one. Okay. Make sure it's working. Now, the last in the series of selections, and you can see that it's doing that, and I've got the voice the voice track on there. We won't need all that. Um, let's put a, a, a title to this, title text. drop icons I just need a slight intro there so that we can see what's happening oh title text here yes 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 come on okay drop icons easy Okay, now that should, with a bit of luck, stay as drop icons. Drop icons. There we go. Now, Fades. the last Movie in the starts. series of Bang. selections. Now, I'll stop that there because we'll go back to my media. Now, there's the little movie I created. Which is that one at 12.04 or a slightly earlier one. That's the keynote. Yeah, that one will do. Actually, what I'll do is go back to Keynote. I'll export that again. Export to Movie. Go to Custom. Select up ProRes Triple Four. Do that. Export. And yes, I do want to replace it. Okay, that's done. Let me drag that in from there. And now if I put that down there onto iMovie, let me show you what happens when we go into that. It's coming along now. You can now, see. the last in the series of selections from the Affinity Photo workbook, um, which is normally for the desktop, but I'm doing it on the iPad. I've been working through the selection part on Chapter 2. We're in and that's all there is to it. In fact, you can put that anywhere. You can put lots of them in there. You can put more than one. Let's put the cursor there, start the movie. Larger. You can see about the center of the screen there, there's a white circle as I drag that up there. So that's 157.9 pixels. Let's make it a neat 200, nice round number. And you can see that circle in the middle showing you how big it is. And you can see it's now just about run fairly through simple, this and stage. it closes the whole thing down there. Now that's very odd. Why did it do that? There's something in that movie that's causing that. So what I'll do, press the R key, clip out the last section of that little movie, start about there and see if it happens again. Nice round number. 
and you can see that circle in the middle showing you how big it is. Now this is fairly simple. All gone, you see. We go Obviously something I did in the rush to do this um, as has put the drop in it and then we don't want that. But that's all there is to it. Let me close iMovie down. iMovie, I'll hide iMovie rather than close it because I'll come back and see what I'm doing with that. And that's all there is to it, really. You set it up in Keynote. Remember the important part is the format. Have no fill background. Put those things in and animate them. And you can have whatever you like. You can have text, you can have images. Just be aware of what color background you're using in your video and where you're putting the items. Easy as that.